Hello everyone, this is Chris Cruzens. It's about uh, 3.45 p.m. on Thursday, March 17th, 2022. It's St. Patrick's Day and we're going to do another um, Chicago walking video. And the video is going to start right now. Here we go. We're, we're on uh, Huron Street, walking towards uh, Michigan Avenue. It's a beautiful day, it's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, believe it or not, and uh, very comfortable, a little bit windy, and uh, no rain at the moment, it's supposed to rain later on, but for now uh, it's rain free, very very comfortable, and uh, we're approaching Michigan Avenue now and then we're gonna make a left in Michigan Avenue and go uh, go south and show you what's going on on Michigan Avenue this is uh, this is a very very busy street you're gonna see a lot of people on Michigan Avenue and it's also St. Patrick's Day it's also St. Patrick's Day so you're gonna see a lot of people maybe wearing green or celebrating And uh, there's no more uh, mandate for masks in Chicago. You don't have to wear a mask now, it's optional. You don't have to wear a mask uh, outdoors or indoors. That's why it's 50 50. You see people wearing masks, people are not wearing masks. That's how we are right now with the pandemic. I, uh, I decided to, uh, to wear a mask that's just my personal choice and we're on the corner of Erie and Michigan that's the Starbucks Reserve Roastery the largest Starbucks in the world and then we're gonna cross the street we still got the green light the, um... and uh, you can see there's a lot of people on Michigan Avenue Now we just want to walk a little bit and see what's going on. Next is Ontario Street, Ontario and Michigan, Ontario and Michigan. It's the Grand Lux Cafe right over there. CTA bus 147. Number three bus right behind it. King Drive. And the next street is Ohio Street. Ohio Street and uh, Michigan Avenue. This is Ohio Street. It's a cloudy day, but a beautiful day. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very comfortable temperature for Chicago. You can see people are wearing just light, uh, light clothing, light jackets, nothing heavy. I 
All right, we're gonna cross and go uh, south of Michigan, Michigan. That's where we are, Ohio, Michigan. Like I said earlier, today is the actual St. Patrick's Day. Uh, today, Chicago already celebrated St. Patrick's Day last weekend. They did a parade, and then they uh, they dyed the river uh, green. You should be able to see the river, Chicago River, green in a few minutes. It still, it stays green like that for uh, for probably. Uh, couple more weeks but today is the actual St. Patrick's Day so you may still see people celebrating the actual holiday One forty-seven bus so we're right on Michigan Avenue walking south this is Chris Crescent it's uh, Thursday March 17, 2022, St. Patrick's Day, and the time is almost 4 p.m. On a beautiful, cloudy, 60-day, 60 60-degree 60 Fahrenheit weather. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe underneath this video, and please try not to skip the ads before during and after the video that helps the support the channel when you do that all right right now we're crossing uh east illinois street east illinois street and uh, michigan avenue and we are approaching the chicago tribune tower This is 401 North Michigan Avenue, Pioneer Court. That's the NBC Tower right there, television station. And this is the 401 North Michigan Avenue building, the Fatality Investments. And that's the, the Wrigley building right there with the clock. And then the Trump Tower right behind it. All right, let's just go. Let's go towards the river. I just want to show how beautiful the river looks on St. Patrick's Day. It dyed in green, color green. It was done by the, the Plumbers Union of Chicago. They did that over the weekend, I think on Saturday, last Saturday, and it's still green. You'll see in the in a minute. This is the Apple store. You can see the ceiling is in the shape of an iPod. That's the Apple store. And then we're gonna go down the stairs, and you can see already see the river is green. Look how beautiful the, the river is. For St. Patrick's Day. That's the Apple store right over here on the left. So let's go and take a look at the river here, the green color river honoring uh, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. The 
show you some of the, the buildings there. The skyline and this is the river, the boats. Look how beautiful it is, this green. Color green of the river. This is the Michigan Avenue Bridge. Beautiful, beautiful picture here. All right, we're gonna go back up. Continue walking. Going up the stairs. So we're coming out of the, the river walk area towards, and then we're going towards uh, Michigan Avenue. I thought it was a statue, but it's a real person impersonating a statue, if, if I can use that term. I never heard of that before. Never used that before, but that's what it looks like. It, uh, that was really interesting. All right, we're crossing Michigan Avenue now. We're going on the other side. We're in front of the Rigby building. I'm going to show you the river again from this side of the of the street, and you can see how beautiful the skyline and the, the green color again of the river looks like in honor of St. Patrick. There it is. Beautiful place to take a picture. Actually, I'm going to take a picture while I'm doing the video. There you go. People here waiting for a, a boat ride tour. Beautiful, beautiful picture. Again, that's the Trump Tower right over there. All right, we're gonna continue on Michigan Avenue Bridge. And I'm gonna show you the river again from up there. See people wearing green for St. Patrick's Day. Another beautiful picture here of the river with the high rises behind it, skyline. Beautiful, beautiful picture. All right, we gotta keep going. And then that's Michigan Avenue here, all the cars. You see the cars, you see the pedestrians, you see the river, so it's beautiful, beautiful picture. And that's the river walk right over there. You see people wearing green, St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day everyone. like an Irish uh, Irish holiday 
If you're watching this from Ireland, up in St. Patrick's Day or anywhere in the world. And then we got some music here, so we're going to try to cross and uh, keep going because the music is going to really it's going to really mess up the video. So we're going to keep going straight. We're going uh I may have to cut out the music, so we'll see what happens if if you if YouTube doesn't uh, allow me to keep the clip, you may not see that clip, the video. Anytime there is, uh, I hate to tell you this during the videos, but anytime there is uh, music playing, especially if it's recorded music, it looked like they were doing both recorded and live. Anytime you see recorded uh, music, you hear recorded music, it kind of messes up my video with YouTube, with copyrights, and then uh, the music, uh, whoever owns that song, takes over my video, and then I have no control over my video. So uh, YouTube gives me the option to, to mute the video or to take the clip out. So in this case, if that becomes an issue, I'll mute the video, the, the clip. All right, this is... Uh, Walk a drive now. Show you the beautiful, beautiful picture. I'm in the middle of the street, actually on an island here, so I'm not really on the street. I'm in the divider here. And this is a good place, I guess, to take a picture or video. All right. I'm just gonna walk this way, all the way until I see the light. Beautiful, beautiful picture. I think that will be a good time to cross. Cross on the other side. So this is Walker Drive I'm on. And I'm approaching uh, Wabash. Wabash Avenue. So hopefully that uh, music clip will be included in the video because I was talking over the, the music so we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're gonna go on uh, on Wabash now and walk south on Wabash and we're gonna go towards Jewelers Row. That's where all the jewelers are and that's where all the the train tracks are. You can see the you can see in here the trains. I'm probably going to see quite a few trains because it's rush hour right now. It's 4 p.m. You can see the clock there. It's 4 p.m. on uh, Thursday, March 17, 2022, and it's St. Patrick's Day. So we're just going to walk, walk straight on uh, on Mobash. Hopefully we'll see the trains come in a few minutes. Beautiful, beautiful day. More music over here, so I'm gonna keep talking. It's not as loud as the the music earlier, but it is. It is. So you can hear it. The video can hear it. The camera can hear it. All right, so just go and uh, keep going south on Wabash. Hopefully, you see that we'll see it here on the train shortly. This is rush hour, so there should be a lot of uh, a lot of trains going back and forth. And actually, I can hear I can hear the train, but I just don't see it. It's coming from far away, I guess. So this is Lake Street, Lake and uh, Lake and Wabash. We're just waiting for the green light. All right, we got the green light, so we're gonna go straight. There is the train coming. I see it now. I'll let you see it. Look how beautiful the picture is of the train. 
Actually, there's a train coming on the other side as well. So there's two trains coming, one this way, the one the other way. Beautiful buildings, the architecture over here on this street. So this is the corner of East Benton Place and, uh, and Lower Bash. So we're gonna stay on Lower Bash and look for more trains coming. Look how big the sidewalk is. It's bigger than the street. <laughs> look at this. Look at the sidewalk. And look at the street. The sidewalk is bigger than the street. That's how Chicago is, downtown Chicago at least. Because people are very, very comfortable walking on. They don't have to worry about getting hit by a car. So it's huge, huge sidewalk. Yeah, I hear more trains coming. I don't know which direction. Oh, I can I see it now. You may see just a glimpse of it. So let's go um, I think this is Randolph Street so let's go west west on Randolph Street this is the theater district interesting uh, interesting area here all right we go ahead. We're on Randolph Street, walking towards uh, State Street. And this is Marshall Field and Company building. All right. We're approaching State Street now, and we're still on the theater district, Randolph Street. You can see one of the theaters there, Netherlander. That's State Street right there. Another busy street, just like Michigan Avenue, <clears throat> they're parallel. So this is State and uh, State and Randolph, State and Randolph. All right. Stayed in Randolph. And 
And I'm going to show you the Chicago Theater over there, the marquee. Right over there. But we are going to go on this way. Theater district now. It's the Netherlander Theater. There's Mullen Rose. Look how beautiful this building is with the emergency fire exits. So we're approaching Dearborn now, Dearborn and Randall. It's the Cambria Hotel. Dearborn and Randall. More music in the background coming out of the hotel. Hopefully it won't be a problem with the video. And uh, so this is Dearburn. There's another theater right over there. Goodman Theater. So this is the theater, theater district. So let's go this way. We go. Um, we go north in Dearborn. That's the good material right over there. People waiting for the bus. Beautiful, beautiful uh, day. Beautiful, beautiful area. Beautiful, beautiful weather. As you can see, uh, these red lane here is for buses the gray one there are for the cars and then the green one all the way to the left are for bicycles it's for bicycles that lane so it's good divided in three three lanes for buses cars and pedestrians and and uh pedestrians actually also on the sidewalk but the green one is for by some people on bicycles so that's the goodman theater right over there parking garage here have to be careful people all cars are coming out it's a busy busy area all right thanks for the drivers thank you for letting me pass <laughs> even if I'm on the sidewalk so this is Lake Street Lake and uh, Lake and Dearborn Lake and Dearborn and here's the train beautiful beautiful picture look at that Dearborn and Lake. Alright, we're crossing on Lake and we're on, on still on Dearborn. Dearborn Lake. Lake Sack Bank.
just gonna go north on Dearborn. show you another landmark now the marina towers the twin towers you can see the first 20 stories are parking garages and then the rest of them are apartments and condos and offices I'll show you when we get a little bit closer it's about a 60 to 70 story building twin towers here they are Actually, I heard a rumor. I actually got the job. Before. I don't know if this is true or not. I heard a rumor that the Marina Towers, they're going to be renovated on the outside. That's kind of hard to believe that they're going to change the, the way it looks now. So I don't know if this is a landmark status building. Because if it is, you cannot really change the outside unless uh, you get permission from the city but I heard somewhere I don't know where I heard it from I don't remember how I don't know if it was on the news or if somebody was telling me that this uh, beautiful structure let's wait let's get a little bit closer it's supposed to change on the on the outside so here it is the marina towers you see the garage there is here is the rest of the building there's twin towers marina city that's what it's called This is the river again, the Chicago River is dyed in green for the St. Patrick's Day. And you see a boat. They're going on a, on a tour. Beautiful, beautiful boat there. I'm sure they're getting a great view of the, the skyline as they go along. But look, look how beautiful the river is in green. In honor of St. Patrick's Day. All right. So let's go there's more more to see on the other side here that's the merchandise marked all the way in the back i don't know if you can see it in the video and there's more other more structures here too many to mention by name and uh all right let's keep going uh north on dearborn people like to take pictures here beautiful uh pictures with the skyline uh, i wait I'll wait till they take the picture before I before I uh... all right and then, then another well-known uh, club here is called the house of blues beautiful beautiful entertainment uh, venue I've never been inside but a lot of my friends went and a lot of my friend musicians perform there as well blues musicians so it's called the house the house of blues and it's well known all over all over over the world so this is 323 North Dearborn so this is probably the entrance leading to the the house of blues that I am so they got different entrances and then you got the Western Chicago Hotel right over there so we're at 329 North Dearborn and I'm gonna show you a beautiful motorcycle here I want to show you some of the buildings here There's one. Beautiful, beautiful structure. And here you have Harry Carey's restaurant and bar. A lot of bars in this area, so I'm sure there'll be 
pretty full tonight. All the people celebrating St. Patrick's Day. It's still a little bit early, but I'm sure they're open already. So this is 33 West Kinsey. We're approaching Kinsey Street now. There's a lot of bars on Kinsey Street. And you could actually hear music, probably live music coming out of this bar here. Very curious restaurant bar and grill so we're on Kinsey now Kinsey Street Kinsey and Dearborn and uh, we're just gonna wait for the for the green light Harry Carey's Italian Steakhouse that's the name of the place I so this is the residence in Marriott and we got the, the green light so this is Kinsey right over there and uh, let's go on the other side because I hear a lot of music I don't want to have the same problem with the music again so we're gonna go on the other side of the street on uh, Dearborn this is Dearborn Beautiful, beautiful skyline. All right, we got the green light. Now it's 55 degrees over here. That's what it says on the on the sign over there. It's 4:22 p.m. and you can see the temperature. We went until you see with temperature. It, it, it said 55 degrees earlier, so let's see what happens. 4.22 p.m. Just waiting for the temperature. 56, okay. 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Close enough. Still very comfortable for Chicago standards. And uh, so we're back on Dearborn now going north. Passing, we just passed Kinsey. And then the next... Uh, intersection here is uh, Hobart, Hobart Street in uh, Dearborn. More music now coming out of the hotel here. Hopefully it won't be a problem. So this is Hubert, Hubert Street, Hubert and uh, Dearborn. We're just walking north. And we're just gonna wait for the green light over here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna show you some of the buildings actually we're gonna cross and go back on the other side all right it's green now on that side so this is Dearborn and uh, Hubert a lot of bars on this side as well blues bars jazz clubs they're over here somewhere and look at this beautiful building right here there it is beautiful structure All right, we're crossing, we got the green light. And we're going uh, north, north on, uh, on Dearborn. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon, evening, or whatever you wanna call it. Now, because of the time change, now it doesn't get dark until 7 p.m. So it's only 4, 24 p.m., but it usually gets dark at 7. A few weeks ago it was getting dark at 5 so now it's better with more sunlight even if there is no sun it's still daytime it's cloudy but for some reason when uh, when it's cloudy my camera takes a very good pictures because there's no no glare from the sun As you can see in the video we're getting some wonderful pictures that's Illinois Street, by the way, West Illinois Street. We saw East Illinois Street earlier. This is West Illinois Street in Dearborn. It's West Illinois Street. We're just waiting for the, for the light so we can cross. Beautiful, beautiful structure right over there. All right, we got the green light. So we're crossing. I'm going to stay on, uh, on Dearborn and walk north. It's Dearborn and uh, West Illinois Street. It's 
so this video is gonna be about uh, a one hour video we got 20 more minute, minutes because we're heading back to Streetyville I always because I live and work in Streetyville that's where we uh, we started the video in Streetyville on Huron Street and then we took Michigan Avenue and then we, we took some other side streets there and we ended up on Dearborn now we're on Dearborn going northbound towards Streetyville Streetyville and also the the Gold Coast the near when the near if I can say that we're on the near north side that's where we are at the moment and then this is a uh, Grant West Grant Street Actually, it's an avenue, Grand, Grand Avenue. All right, we got the green light on uh, Grand Avenue and uh, Dearborn. So we're walking. Uh, walking, walk on on Dearborn, and. Uh, we are at 539 North Dearborn to be exact. That's where we are, 539 North Dearborn. And we're just walking, uh, walking north towards Streetyville. Next street is Ohio Street. And then at some point we're gonna make a ride and go east. So we can go back, uh, back to Street Evil to go back, uh, back home. But for now, we're just gonna keep going north on Dearborn. This is Dearborn and Ohio Street. Dearborn and Ohio Street. This is Ohio Street. We got the green light, so it's about 4:30 p.m. Well, I mean, when you start on uh, Thursday, March 17, 2022, and it's St. Patrick's Day, and we're just gonna go show you the street a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful picture. Nice building over there. It uh, looks like a castle. I think it was a castle at some point. <laughs> long time ago I'm not sure but it could be the uh, it could be the one I don't know if you guys remember from the past the Excalibur nightclub and then it became the castle that may be the one the one right here because that was in the shape of a castle as well I could be wrong but I think uh, that discotheque doesn't exist anymore now it's like a restaurant cow restaurant you see the sign there if it's the same place I, I could be wrong but a lot of things have changed I've been in Chicago for almost almost 40 years now so I used to come and uh, and dance all night to this place called Excalibur I think that's the one it's like 600 North uh, Dearborn. I'm pretty sure this is the one. And it was like a two, three, four story nightclub. There was like a dance floor on every floor. I'm pretty sure that's the one. I was whack back then in the 80s when I was younger. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, but I, <laughs> I've been in Chicago for 40 years. I, uh, I'm originally from the island of Cyprus. I left Cyprus in 1979, went to Italy for four years, and then I've been in Chicago since 1983, almost almost four years, about 39 years now. So now we're on uh, Erie Street, you're born in Erie, Grammary Row. These are like residential buildings now. We're on the, on the Gold Coast now. And then uh, at some point when I decide to make a ride, we're gonna go towards Streetyville, but right now we're in the 
And here on the north side, we're in the Gold Coast. I'm, I'm not gonna wait for the light, there's nobody coming, so I'm just gonna cross. As you can see, there's less traffic on this side, more pedestrian traffic. But it's still beautiful. Beautiful street, beautiful area. Now we're approaching Huron Street, Huron Street. Huron and uh, Dearborn. Huron and Dearborn. And beautiful, beautiful shops over there. Nobody behind me, so I'm gonna walk in the middle of the street. So you can get a more panoramic view of the neighborhood. So this is Huron. This is West Huron. And you see, anything you see with the W in front, it means West. In Sweetyville, everything in front of the street says E, East. So we're we're in the Gold Coast now. I'm gonna go to the Streetyville in a few minutes. Again, this video is gonna be at least an hour long, maybe a little bit longer. All right, we're crossing the the street. Next street is going to be Superior Street, Superior Street. And I believe the next one will be Chicago Avenue. So on Chicago Avenue, we're going to make a right and go to Streetville. This is West Superior Street, 732 North uh, Dearborn. gonna cross this road but nobody's coming it's safe to cross all right beautiful beautiful look at us look at all this buildings here beautiful architecture this is a this is a residential neighborhood and these are all high-rises there are, there are houses actually right over there. I'm not gonna go that direction. We're gonna make a right on Chicago Avenue. We'll go back to Streetville. So this video is gonna be a little bit more, more than an hour. It's a little bit windy right now and hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. So we're approaching Chicago Avenue and Dearborn. Dearborn and Chicago Avenue. And you can see the houses right over there over the Gold Coast. The low rises right over there. But we're gonna make a ride on Chicago Avenue. This is Chicago Avenue. We're going uh we're walking east on Chicago Avenue. And then we're gonna see Michigan Avenue again at some point, but we're, we're gonna stay straight on, on Chicago Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this picture. And that's the John Hancock Center right over there, the one with the the block building with the two antennas on top. We're gonna to get closer and show you a better shot in a minute. But right now we're in Chicago Avenue. And uh, it's always busy as well on this street, on this avenue. 
it's a lot of uh, transport. It's like a transportation hub because you got the subway here, you got the red line here, and you got buses. A lot of buses. You got people in cars, people walking, all kinds of uh, modes of transportation. So, so we're on. Uh, stayed in. Uh, stayed in Chicago. So we're gonna cross on straight street. I want to show you this Italian uh, barber shop. I always wanted to go in there and get a shave, but I never actually did. So it's open. It's called Alfredo's. It's 4 West Chicago Avenue. Italian uh, barber shop. And then this is stayed in. Uh, Stayed in uh, Chicago. Number 66 bus. And then you have a McDonald's here, the 24 hour McDonald's is always, always busy. Never stops. Crispy chicken sandwiches, I got good stuff. There's the McDonald's right over there. We're gonna keep going uh, straight on uh, Chicago Avenue. We're going east on Chicago Avenue, and then you can hear. Hopefully, you won't. You can hear it, but there is music coming out of the car cars. Hopefully, it won't interfere with the video. So we're we're in Chicago and Wabash now. Chicago and Wabash. And then we're just walking east. Look how beautiful the structures are. The brown buildings right over there. Look at that. Obviously they're old. Look, look at the architecture. I'm gonna go straight so I don't get hit by a car. Some cars behind me trying to make a left. Alright, we're approaching uh we're approaching Michigan Avenue. Again, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's in the upper 50s now. Now, actually, when we going towards the lakefront, because we're walking east towards the lakefront, the temperature is getting even uh, lower. When we first started the video, it was in the 60s, but now it's in the 50s. And as more east we go now, the more. Uh, the temperature drops but I am very comfortable because I'm wearing a nice nice jacket I got my hat I got my, I'm wearing my mask my mask even keeps me keeps me warm and uh, this is Rush Street Rush and Chicago Avenue again it's a little bit windy I don't know if you can hear me and the way you you know how windy it is, look at the flag. That's how you know how windy it is. This is the American flag, and then you get the city of Chicago flag. That's how windy it is. Look at that. So you may be able to hear the wind. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't be an issue. Hopefully you can hear me. All right, we're gonna keep going. Uh, we're gonna keep going uh, east on Chicago Avenue, and we're gonna be ending the video pretty soon. Once we hit the one-hour mark, we got another five, six minutes to go. So we'll make it at least we'll make it at least a one-hour video. So now we're on um, approaching Michigan Avenue. This is the old water tower right over here. And this is the John Hopkins Center right over there. And the water tower residence is on the right. I'll take another picture. 
Ah, the good thing about this camera, I can take a, I can take a picture while I'm uh, I'm filming. The still picture, so that's the good thing. Is I took a couple of pictures there. All right, that's Michigan Avenue. Michigan Avenue and Chicago Avenue. So there's Michigan Avenue over there. Very, very crowded place. Look at that. Look how busy the street is. We're just waiting for the light to cross. We're gonna walk this way now. Very narrow sidewalk. So we're on Michigan Avenue now, going north. It took a long time for the light to turn green over there, so that's why I turned around, went this way. But like I said, we're gonna be ending this video pretty soon. Hear more music coming out of the cars here, and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit the water tower, uh, the old water tower plaza over here. I'm trying to get away from the music. So here is the, here's some of the high rises over here. Beautiful, beautiful architecture. I'm gonna go this way. You know we're on uh, approaching Pearson Street. As soon as we get the light, then we go. Uh, we we'll go uh, east on uh, on Pearson Street. Actually, we'll go this way because there's more music coming out. There's somebody sitting at the with a boombox playing the music that's why I thought it was coming out of the car but it's a guy sitting there with a boombox so I will stay away from the music so I'm gonna go a little bit north now so we're in the corner of uh, Pearson I don't know if you can see the sign Pearson and uh, in Michigan East Pearson and North Michigan Avenue but we're gonna go uh, on Chestnut now we're trying to make the, the right over there on Chestnut Street. We're right in front of the John Hopkins Center. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. It's about a, it's more than 100 stories tall. One of the tallest buildings in Chicago and one of the tallest buildings in the world. Probably the top 10. There it is. It takes about four city blocks. And we're in Streeterville now. North Michigan Avenue and Chestnut. I'm gonna end the video shortly, probably uh, probably five more minutes. Bus. We're in front of the water tower place. 
the mall, it's like a high rise mall. So we're on Chestnut walking uh, east towards the lakefront. A lot of people on the street here on bicycles, cars. This is the American Girl store. So this is Chestnut Street. on Chestnut Street. We're in the Streetville. This is the area where I live and work. We're, good, we're probably going to do another five more minutes and then we'll stop the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe underneath this video. And please try not to skip the ads before, during, and after uh, each video, especially the videos that are longer than 10 minutes. So any, any video that is more than 10 minutes, usually you see a, an ad in between every four or five minutes. That helps the video, the, the channel when you don't skip the ads. Number 125 bus there. It's a clean air hybrid bus. It's called also accordion bus. You see how it looks like an accordion. So it can uh, it can pick up uh, more passengers. It's basically two two buses uh, merged into one. And you got United States Post Office track here. So you got Vice Van der Roja and Chestnut Street here. You got Seneca Street across the street. And uh, you got the 157 bus. That's my neighborhood bus. And then we're gonna cross. And we're gonna stay on Chestnut Street. And that's the a well-known restaurant, Italian restaurant in Chicago, is called Francesca's on Chestnut. It's 200 East Chestnut. Beautiful flowers here. Look at this. In Cyprus, we call this thing here, this big thing here, Mapuros. It's pretty big, actually. I've never seen a big one like this. I don't know what the word of it in English is. <laughs> but in Greek, or in uh, Greek Cypriot dialect, it's called Mapuros. Usually we find them uh, the Trollos Mountains. All right. All right, we're almost done. Let's walk a little bit more east on Chestnut Street. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. I love Streetville. I've been in this neighborhood for 20 years now. I've been in Chicago almost 40 years, but the last 20 years I've been living and working here. Streetville, the, the zip code is 60611, Illinois. Beautiful, beautiful area, residential area. Also has a hospital area. There are bars and restaurants in this neighborhood and also a lot of hotels and of course, residential apartment buildings like the one I live in. All right, we're on the Chestnut and uh, Dewitt. I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Chris Crescent. We did another one hour walking video in downtown Chicago on St. Patrick's Day. And we're gonna finish it on the corner of Chestnut and Dewitt. Thank you everybody for watching.